This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Telltale Games presents in association with Skybound Entertainment. The Walking Dead. Dead. They're all dead. We can walk up. Episode 3. Long Road Ahead. Looks like this is our lucky day. Yeah, this might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. I hope it goes smoothly. Jeez, I'm already a little nervous. I only hit one button. You made up your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon, I bet you're in the let's stay put camp considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. We should go. The motel's run its course, and it's not safe. I agree. Well, if that's what you think, you should probably f***ing speak up. Lily's dug in. Well, I'll f***ing, I'll talk to her. I'll get her going. We need to leave. Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <laughs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Whoa. There's no safe way through that mess. Huh. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. I just want to look at everything. Oh, that's the place. That was his family's place. So much for the military. I guess we'll climb up the ladder. Never mind. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. I better get a move on. All right. There we go. Get on the car. Kenny, come on. Help me up. Ah, shit. Damn it. I can't reach. <sighs> Sorry, pal. All right, stay put. Are you sure you can't reach me? Listen, you're either going to have to get a hell of a lot taller, or my arms are going to have to get a hell of a lot longer. Well, that's what I'm talking I get about. It. I'll keep looking. Just become a last girl. Blocked by all the fallen concrete. Hmm. What's the huh for? Mm. Nope. That ain't gonna work. Huh. What's the huh? Huh. Dude, what are you hunting about? Huh. If you do one more hum, I'm gonna hum you out of here, dude. Stop hum. Oh, maybe I can get up on here? Like, get on top of that and then jump? Oh, hell no! Huh. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Hmm. Jeez. <gasps> hmm. Looks like it still works. Uh, 
<laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? She'll be fine. If you say so, you're the only one she seems to give a damn about anymore. Well, you and Clem. She'll have to grow up. I say that to me, her freaking father's head got smashed. Flashback. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee. I need you. Please help me. Oh my gosh. Come on, Dad. Come on. Wake up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my Wake gosh. Up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. Come on. This is how. Lee! Is he breathing at all? No. Oh. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! You're putting all of us at risk, you son of a bitch! You're f***ing worthless, Lee. End of flashback. Your girl still upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week? What do you think? Christ, I've heard your opinion. What's done is done. I'm always going to defend Clementine. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? That wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. What did he say? He wanted to know if Herschel's son somehow made it. Pretty sure he knows he didn't. Don't worry. You made out like a hero in his eyes. It's not like that. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Uh, oh. 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 Shit! Oh. Jesus. Are you okay? No, Dick. I'm shot. Now get off here. Your... No! Money. What the? What the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. Hmm. Let's take the shot. It's a girl. We have to help her. How? There's no getting to her. We gotta do something. Oh. No, she's a bit. She's a bit. Fuck. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. We don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean. We leave her alive, and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Kim. Think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. I mean, she's gone. No, she's gone. She's bit. Let's bro. go. She'll keep you busy. I do not want any distractions. No! No! Go away! Go! Go away! No! I've learned my lesson from the last in the last few episodes. That one girl just freaking shot herself. We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Grab. 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 We gotta grab all of it. All of it. Let's go. Oh, crap. She's gone. There's not much time now. Grab. 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 Let's go. On a roll. Let's go. Next. Grab. Oh, come on. Mm. Grab. Let's go. One more. Two more. I think that's everything. That girl didn't die for nothing then. Up and over. 
We're still clear. Let's hustle. Oh. Jimmy, help! No! I'm gonna get him. No! Penny, help me. Penny. No. No. Fridge. Out. Let's get out. Go, 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 go. Get out of here. Was that? They're everywhere. You took care of yourself, didn't you? I'll remember that. Clementine. Oh, Clementine. You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. I gotta take. Uh, I gotta do a job right quick. I gotta talk to Lily. Hey, Lily. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone and come and f our women and children. Hey. So, what did you get? A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. Because piling into an RV with you after what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. And that's all beside the fact that Macon is busting at the seams with walkers. We don't have walker problems. We do whatever is best for the kids. Doesn't that make sense? It's suicide out there. We'll die in here. You're right. You could see someone sleeping and kill one of us. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly? Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me, either. We're strongest together. I know you think I'm on her side, but there are no sides, damn it. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. What about medicine? We got plenty of food from that station wagon. Yeah, no thanks to you. You didn't even want to take it. Where the hell would we be now? We can't just keep our fingers crossed for more station wagons. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? Your pal and I got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? You weren't out there. You guys couldn't try to save her? Don't take that tone with him. It's the first smart thing he's done in a while. She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. Gotta be you smart. wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get really out. relax.
she'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the f***ing bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Huh. Oh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Carly, what's up, girl? Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. Yeah. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Ooh. What do you got to say? Oh, she turned around. What do you got to say, girl? Huh? Hmm. I'm ready. Clementine. I like Carly way more than Lily. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What you What's doing? What's that you working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Well, I appreciate it. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah, that'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. <laughs> so she's not against leaving. She just wants to know where. All right, let's, let's talk to Kenny. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's got to be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. Talk to you later. Not yet. Let's talk to this bozo. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Well, that's oh, for any city. I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. Dude. It's super nice. Go dogs. Uh, I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is. What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. Bye. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. Fair enough. Uh, nothing else back here? Alright. Oh, Carly. Come here, girl. I got a couple things to say to you. Wait, do we go talk to Lily? Oh, we can go talk to Lily. I'll go talk to Lily after talk to Carly. Talk to Lily yet? No, not yet. I will. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. Oh. I think about you too. Our group is small. You're small. <laughs> Good word, Lee. You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. Oof. I think the opposite of those two things. P 
people need to know because we're hanging by a thread here and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? She has a point. I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Oh, we got a little smooch. Don't call me small. Oof. Or what? Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. Who do we tell? Do we tell Kenny? I want to tell Kenny. I actually trust that guy a lot. And I feel bad for backstabbing him, but at the same time, that was horrifying to what he did. It was either, it was either me or him that would have killed the father. But I didn't want to kill the father. Do you feel safe here? I don't know. I feel, Show I feel, me a bath I'll tell with Kenny. a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. Ooh, Malbec. I don't know. This place is fine. Some taste. We all know that that could change at any second. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her. That's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. All right, good talk. Uh, do we go talk to? Uh, I'm gonna go talk to Kenny. Hi guys. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Yeah. What do you got? Oh shit. This is this is the moment. It's serious. Okay. Should I sit down? Come on. I killed someone. Different than Larry or the St. John's. Different from everything. This was before the walkers. A citizen? Yes. I know. I, I didn't say anything when I met you because I was with the girl and, you know, I, I was worried. Look, we've all done gnarly shit now. But what? You were some kind of killer? It's not like that. Is Duck safe around you? Absolutely. Of course. Good. But you should know, if we got to make numbers when it comes to a boat, this is going to matter. <sighs> hmm. I appreciate it, though. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Now, I don't tell anybody else. <laughs> I don't, don't tell Kasha. Nah, I don't tell Kasha. It's Lily's room. Oh, no way. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. Things are missing, and I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. What if it's Carly? For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. Counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck anything with opium in it. I see the count and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want oh, me you to think start Clementine one? Is? I want you to poke around. 
That would be a twist. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. I had a, I had a random button. I didn't know which one to press. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. How do you know about Dick That's Grayson? That's Robin. I know who it is. Okay, you're Robin. Yes. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. What if it was Doc? All right. Uh. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? <laughs> yes. Ah, shit. You're awesome. All right, let's go talk to Carly. I uh, talked to Kenny about who I am. And? I don't know. Feels like I just gave him ammo, if we ever have to make any tough decisions when it comes to a head count. Ah. Uh, well, don't worry. Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. And the batteries might be in backwards. It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. Shit, it was Carly. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Damn. It was Carly. I can tell. All right, Ben. Spill it. The flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, Got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay, then. Alrighty. Duck's favorite. Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Oh, thanks, Gotcha. You just gave me a lead. There's some broken glass on the ground there. Oh, yeah, you don't say. There's something drawn there. An X. Hmm. Chalk. Pink. Hmm. Dark. A clue. Maybe. <laughs> what do you think it is? Chalk. I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe you need be. to go it's away. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating.
Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Good. Do you want blue? No, no, it's <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks. Lee. I found something. Clementine, you're what adorable. I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues Yeah, and duck, I got it. Good job. <laughs> cool. We gotta build that trust. <laughs> Somebody was over here, too. See? I did good, huh? Yeah, Duck. Good job, did. bud. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Those bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. Mm. What do we got here? You haven't come up with anything, have you? Oh. I came up with this. But it's got I have. a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. No, you die. because you... What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? I should just shut up. What the hell? You don't steal from us! Who the f is that? Yo, there's gotta be people out there! Out here. We ain't f***ing around! What do we do? Oh, Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall him. What? Just keep him talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! Shit. What did we just step into? Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the f*** alone! Why? This f*** guy. Why? Because we gotta, that's why! What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been giving us. You got it. Done. Is that so? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up or I'll... Christ! Oh, shit! Damn. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh get shit. Get there. Smoke him out. Ben, sit we the gotta fuck get down. out of here. No shit. Get those bastards. Cover our people and get them to the RV. Uh, we got, uh, uh. Oh. Oh. Shit for brains. He's back there. Get over here, hurry! Man, you saved our asses. Get inside! Help! Gotcha! Hang on! Where is he? He's hiding behind that van! Get Ooh. around behind! Ooh. Who's next? Who's next? Ooh, gotcha. Hurry! Come on! Whee! 
Get inside the RV. It's gonna be okay. Go. Gotcha. No, no, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh Christ. Let's go. Fast. Fast, boy. Gotta go fast. Lily, get in the RV. Screw her. Let her stay. Shit. Carly. Oh. Oh. Oops. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I am too good at this. Lily, last chance, get down here. Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm sorry. Everything's fine. Ben. Everything's not fine. We need to figure out how this happened. We just lost everything. Well, we're lucky as shit to have this RV. And nobody died. Cat's head is split open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Carly, is there something you want to say? It is, Carly. Please, we have to get it out of you then. Back off. You are in no position to make demands. Whoa, 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 you're just pointing fingers. I didn't just come up with this. I've had my suspicions. Probably not the best time, Lily. Why her? This seems like a stab in the dark, Lily. She's always so eager to see what supplies we found. She never talks about her family. She could be related to those bastards for all Whoa, we know. Whoa, my family's not a bunch of meth-riddled forest people. They're fucking Lutheran. You're not saying it wasn't you. It wasn't me. Like, look, maybe we should vote or something like that. Vote? What? Just look. Carly's a stand-up gal, and maybe this was all just a mistake. We need to look at the facts. Let's calm down, we'll eat, and we'll deal with it. Let's just let it go. People make mistakes, and yeah, this is a f***ing doozy. But it's not worth it, Lily. Then what do we not forgive? Honestly, tell me. Kenny can kill my dad. Carly can steal from us. Where's the line? Nobody was stealing anything! Was it both of you? What? I've seen you two together. Was up, it Lily. both of you? Look, just let me out. I didn't do it, but I don't like this. I don't like where it's headed. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. Lily, Lily lay relax. off of him. I... Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. All right, well, we can deal with this now then. What do you mean you hit something? You're, you're driving, old man. Kitty. Is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily. Out. I don't think it's safe. I don't think it's safe. Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just Fucking kick you out. We should hear out. what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. I'm not gonna take this. You can push Ben around, but you can't push me around. I'm really sorry you feel that way. I'm starting to think maybe it was both of you. No! Ah, this dumb fuck walker. You okay over there? Yeah, yeah. Son of a ben, bitch. Ben, you have no other options Leave here. him alone. You can tell me it was Carly, and then everything will be right as rain. I'm not doing this. Come on, Lee. You're the one who found them. You can't just abstain. F*** all that. This is nuts. We're out here on the side of the road. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. F***. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything! 
I'll, I'll do watches for months. Ha, huh, the hell you will. I'll get more food, more medicine, anything, just- You think any of that is good now? Just let me stay, please! God, please! Stop panicking. Seriously, Ben. You need to stop and just take a breath. Do we need any more evidence than this? F evidence. Stop treating him like this. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Lily. What's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute. Ben, you have until that walker is dealt with to tell me it was her and not you. Stop this. You're torturing him. No. Ben, stop. Ah, this is about trust, and I've never trusted you. Lily, lay off. I can't, Lee. You know I can't. Thank you, Lee. Please, listen to him. Please don't kick me out of the group. We won't. Tell me. Now. There. I got it. Please, let's just get back That's in the RV. That's not happening. You think you're some tough bitch, don't you? Like nothing can hurt you. But you're just a scared little girl. Get the f*** over it. Take a page from Lee's book and try helping somebody for once. Now. What the f**k's the problem? Oh my f**k. Drop it. <sighs> Holy f**k. Kenny, what's happening? Keep duck away from the windows. Jesus Christ. Holy Get in. What We're leaving this crazy f f She couldn't be trusted, Lee. I swear. Please. What are we gonna do with her? Leave her for the walkers. Ken, Lee! Why? Why, Lily? Just get in. We'll figure out what to do with you. It's a bad idea, Lee. She's a murderer for shit's sake. I'm a murderer? You've had Lee with you this whole time. I don't care what he did before. You know? Yeah, he told me. I don't give a shit. If we keep you with us, yes. how long until you get me? I was trying to protect all of us. I don't have anything left. Whatever. Just get in. Holy shit. I cannot believe Carly just died. Lily, you're such a f bitch, bro. No way. Not Carly. Lee, a word, please. Damn. That scared the shit out of me, to be honest. What's up? Is Duck feeling all right? Duck's bit. What the fuck? Happened during the raid. What's the plan? We've never had a bite victim in the group before. I'm going to keep an eye on him and see what I can do from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Important to stay honest with each other. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. Damn. Things are getting freaking crazy. Duck is bitten. Huh? He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I... don't feel good. What about Carly? There was no time for a burial. Walkers? Yeah. Horrible. This is so sad. I'm glad I have you. Me too. 
I heard you outside my treehouse that day and thought about dropping a hammer on your head. What? Why? In case you were up to no good. Before you, there was this other guy. He was yelling and trying to get into my house. He wanted to take the TV and tried to break the glass door with a rock. Then some walkers came and scared him away. The door was open. He was dumb. <laughs> That's f***ing hilarious. Clementine, don't change. Something's about to happen. Oh my god. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. Come in time. Oh. We got something up ahead. Oh, it was just a dream. Oh. That, that would have changed everything. Damn it. Roads blocked. Ooh, that one scared me. Now we gotta deal with this. The group gets Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. All this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. And I'd like everyone out of the RV except her. I don't want folks trapped in there with her. Poor duck. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Clem. Stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, hon. Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? That would cross my mind. Not until now. Gotta avenge Carly somehow. Doors closed. Whoa. Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. Shit. Think they're gone? I hope so. But this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. I think Ben's next. A map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kenny's got us headed. Oh. There's I'll some take water. this to Kanja for Doc. Here, found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? It's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't. But you're probably right. We'll get to the bottom of this. We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. These tracks lead right to Savannah. Holy hell. Can you guys see about moving that thing? We could have something here. Yeah, we're on it. Let's talk to Clementine. Hey, Clem. What are you going to do with Lily? I don't know. Something, I suppose. I don't know what we can do. She killed her. Yeah, it, it's horrible. She 
she won't forget that. That sucks. Yeah, that ruined that ruined the whole mood. That ruined it, a lot of what we was going for us. See what I see? Shoot. I saw something in that cab door. I'm not really interested in going in there just yet. Check the front of the freight. It's in pretty good shape for a wreck. <gasps> Jesus! <sighs> that scared the shit out of me. So never mind. If he's pinned, we don't want to draw attention to ourselves. Yeah? Damn. Shit. You'll see me if I come in this way. We already have another one. We already have another one. I knew there was someone in there. We got one. Walker, sitting in the chair. We got him. <sighs> Suppose we ought to look him over. Yeah. I don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it? Why not? Are you f***ing serious? Here, look. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker <laughs> works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. Well, let's look around. Maybe it goes somewhere we'd like to be. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what yeah. we need. This is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. Oh, Clementine. A bunch of maps about Georgia's cities. Nothing about the train. I know what to do. Clementine taught us something, and damn, we're going to do it. It was the leaf. It was the leaf art. There's a notepad on the train. Do you have any pencils or anything in your pack? No, I wish. Maybe in the RV. What do you need it for? There used to be something written on the notepad that I need to know about. Well, if you're not using it, I'd take it. I'm out of paper, and there's all sorts of new leaves around here.
There's a pencil. Got the pencil, boys. I'm leaving. I'm gonna stop you. No, Fuck. you're not. I didn't mean not to hit that one. You. Come with me. We could take the RV right now. He left the keys in it. No way. Didn't think you would say yes. I can't let you take the RV. Don't be crazy. You're not letting me take it. Sorry, Lee. I really am. <laughs> Holy shit! She's stealing the RV! Lily! Come back here, you crazy bitch! F Stop! I can't believe she's f doing this. I'm glad she's gone. With our only reliable vehicle! Maybe, man. Maybe. Well, we're f***ed if we don't figure out how this thing works. Can't spend the night out here. That walker. Should have shot it. Duck is still sick, you know. We need to get to the city. The coast. Perfect. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. All right. So six. Bottom square, bottom square. Long rectangles. Top, bottom, top. All right. So six. Bottom, bottom. Top. Top. What was the thing? What was the thing? Wait, where to go? Where to go? Oh no. Oh, okay. Cool. Top, bottom, top. Gotcha. Oop. Right, top. Top. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. I'm doing good. All right, now five. We got horizontal, vertical. Horizontal, now vertical. Now we're talking. Nine, rotate left. Nine. Where's the nine? What? Can't find the nine. There has to be somewhere back here. This one. Get her done. Let's go. Holy shit. We're golden. Yeah, we are golden. Man, feels good. Let's f enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. So I think we're going to need a spike remover, just in case. one 
hell of a mess. No. Never mind. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Hey, Kenny, we're loose. I can get in over there. You touch any of my stuff? Who are you? Who are you? The guy who owns that stuff. I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? He's a cool dude. But I couldn't force Maybe. myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck? Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. Welcome. Thank you. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got. Although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on... Uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. What do you think, Kenny? We gotta go. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. The creepy crawlies. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. Hey, don't tell her what to do. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can keep going if you want. Damn right I won't. That's what we're doing. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Kent. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Kenny, don't be delusional here. You know what's happening. Go. We got a train.
Oh, poor duck. You gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. We'll be fine. We've gone through just as much as anybody else. This one's gonna grow up quick. I already am. I don't doubt it, son. Lee. Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. Come on, Kenny. He's not going to stop it. You need to stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that right now. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. Kenny. You're in denial. And you've given up on Duck, on everyone. Stop it, goddammit. F*** you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? Calm down and- How the f*** do you calm down after a day like today? By talking to your friend. You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid, and a bad thing happened to someone else's. There ain't no way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. You know that. Stop the train, man. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes. Again, it's... I think it's time. <laughs> Stop it. The boy's been not supposed to agree with me. She haven't figured that out. What do you need? I, I, Katja. It's time to. Oh, this is not possible. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if? What if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. 
I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cap. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or no. something we can just give him? Stop it. Can just drift off to sleep. Right, hun? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. I mean. But we know it's here or nothing. Oh, fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. Gotcha. Fuck. I, I, I can. I can do this. You can't. I love you, Ken, but this is beyond you. God just should do it, Ken. She could handle it. Shut up, Lee. He's right. No, hon. Stay with Lee. Your son loves you, and you should remember him as the silly boy we used to have. Not this. I don't think Kenny had the balls to do it. I can't. Lee, be with him. Poor Kenny. What's happening? Duck is dying. I know. What is Katya doing? She's putting him out of his misery. Oh. Yeah. Look, Clem, things are... No. God! Yeah. This will never happen to you. You don't know that. Yes, I do. I'm gonna go get her. She's probably a mess. Ben, get Clementine on the train, all right? And keep your eyes open. Sucks, bro. I this this is so topsy turvy. It goes emotions going back and forth. I wonder if Katra is okay. She killed herself? She couldn't do it. Oh my god. Why? Cat. Honey. Oh, fing god. <laughs> I'm so sorry. She couldn't. She, 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 she. Oh, oh, fing. What just happened? Was not expecting that at all. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. Sorry, Doc. Appreciate you being my Robin. But I've been for you. I 
I can't let Kenny do it. He may use that against me, but I couldn't let him do that. Damn. Damn. You want to talk? Uh-uh. You uh, understand what happened? Yes. What do you think it's about? What Chuck said. What Chuck said? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. The f he did. Swear. Sorry. I'm gonna go talk some sense into him. Don't be mad. Come here, Chuck. I got some words for you. Hey. How you doing? Don't talk to my girl. Just stay away from her. Excuse me, son. I heard you told her she was gonna die. That she was gonna end up like Duck. Why'd you go and do that? Because she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow that y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We do what's best for Clementine. Oh, well then, you do have it all figured out. Never mind. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. She's a little girl. And she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun, because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job, but too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. Hey. Hey, it'll be good to get to the water. You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Care. Yeah. It's the best plan. Mind if I get by you for a second, Kenny? Can you just leave me alone? train much longer time for a haircut they look clean enough hey Clint did you talk to him I did he had some uh, he explained himself and made some good points look we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you, but there are some precautions we have to take. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay, what should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. 
You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? I know these are just bottles, but you have to aim for the head. I know. Only the head. Unless it's not a walker and it's someone trying to hurt you. And then? Head or body. Anywhere. I don't want to think about that. You're right. It might be a lot for your first day. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? <laughs> do I have to? Yeah, you do. Close. Now keep it steady. Okay, a little higher. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. Steady now. Almost got it. There you go. I got it. Excellent. There Good you shot. go. She's a professional. Such a good teacher. Remember, don't lock your elbows. Oh. Aim left. A little bit more to the left. And aim, aim lower. Lower. Woo. There you go. Nice. Let's go. Remember, don't lock elbows. Oh, I look did. at you. Yeah, you did. Good job. I just pretended they were walker heads. Good. Just like you should. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. Good shit, Clementine. My hands hurt and my ears have noise in them. Like... <laughs> You'll get used to it. So you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? Because <laughs> it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker... We need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. If you don't do it now, we'll probably never get a chance. Do you know how to do this? How hard can it be? I'm going to look like a boy. Shush now. So you did kill someone before? Yeah. You could have just told me. I wouldn't have been afraid of you or anything. I'm sorry. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Killing is bad no matter what. But you do it now to protect yourself. 
And to protect me. Doesn't make it good. But you have to. I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tear these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Hair ties. Oh, yeah, Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There, all set. You look dumb. <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab. It was necessary, I promise. I need to look around for a few things that'll make sure we're prepared when we get to Savannah. That would be good. I hope it's safe there. God, me too. Me too, Clem. Looks like Chuck has some booze left. Oh, we'll grab it. It's a fifth of whiskey. Hey, that's still a lot, though. Well, the girl can shoot. It doesn't have to be pretty. Probably will be before too long. Be safe up here. You betcha. I found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? No, I'm fine. Suit yourself. Hmm. <clears throat> Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Kenny. Will do. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That'd help. Thanks. You're welcome. It was me. Huh? I knew it. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? Damn it, Ben. It's all my fault. What for? Why the hell would you do this? They said they had my friend, that he was with them. By the time I realized they didn't, it was too late. They said they'd kill me, kill all of us. I'm sorry, Lee. Remember it, I don't give a f The only issue that I have is he may rat me out for telling him not to tell freaking Kenny. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're going to do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah, you need to know if they're okay and, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I'm sure they're okay. Yeah, it's best to stay positive. That's what Dad always says. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. I don't know, I think that was uh, a bad idea. Hmm. Hey, don't worry. But we'll figure it out. Have you ever been clean. there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the M... M something... 
Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it. So we'll head there. Yes. You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know. Yeah, there's no way they're alive. That's why I think. Sure. Go ahead. I think we should have right. went with the boat idea because that's what Kenny wanted. Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far. Oh shit! Hold on, everybody! What's going on? Holy shit. walk that's f stupid ben i'm just saying <laughs> hmm, i don't know i ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude but we could probably deal with that we got a goddamn train that thing's not full of milk charles that's gas or diesel something that's going to explode you gotta get a hold of yourself this a crew here this ain't shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed hey, off. Hey, more people. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. No, we're friendly. Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. Hey. Oh. Leads up to that wreck tanker. No dip. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now? What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Look, you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies and... Yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great! <laughs> See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone, first day all of this happened. We've been together ever since. And everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. A train is awesome though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. We can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. It's empty. Federal Reserve. That's about the only useful thing in here. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. 
Not big on welcomes? Like I said, we could use some good people. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we're not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. I'll go check out that station. Bad idea. Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. Hmm. No entry. Trespassers will be persecuted. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. <clears throat> mm, won't but. We'll have to find a way in. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Ugh. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. Huh? For real? I think so. What? Well, I'll be damned. How, how, how she reached that? Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. Dude, what would I do without you, Clem? God damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. I didn't realize I was on time. I was timed for that. It's locked up good, but there's some space at the top. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. That's exactly what we need. Over there? Yeah, we need to get in there and get that blowtorch. Come here, Clem. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Behind you! Shit. Fuck! Come on, Clem. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Do me a favor, Clem. I'm pressing Q. I'm pressing Q. I'm pressing Q. I'm pressing Q. Ah! It's okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. Oh shit, oh shit. Clem, 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 Clem. Keys, now! Didn't 
go so good. No, it did not go so good. But we're okay. Everything's okay. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. We found some walkers. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? We handled it. Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. I hope you know what you're doing with her. We're still alive, aren't we? Yeah, you are. I know what I'm doing. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. We got it. Well, let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. We learned not to be afraid. They should have got us. But we got them. Yeah, you're right. Fear is the thing that will kill us. You understand? All right, let's go, Clem. I've been protecting Clementine I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. The only person I care about. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. Holes as a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. Well, I got some tape. Hope this holds. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Oh, thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. Hmm. Well. Empty. That's what I figured. Did I say Federal Reserve? I meant Federal Rescue. Think this will work? Dude, you're cutting metal with fire. How could it not? Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are? God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. Holy shit. Holy shit. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Guys! There's something coming! What the what? There must be thousands. We gotta go! Omi! Cut! Cut! I am! It's going! Pull me up! Kitty, go! Shit! What the hell do we do now? 
Hope to God this works. Holy crap! We gotta jump! What? No way! Yeah, we gotta jump. Guys! Come on! Jump! No! Jump, damn it! Still no! Fine! Damn it, Omid. Shit. Run. Uh, Omid, you son of a bitch, save him. Omid. He was already way ahead. That was a lot of them. Are you hurt? No, we're okay. Speak for yourself. My leg is f***ed. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. Yeah. Explode, please explode. Ah, oh, there was no freaking explosion. This really is intense. <laughs> And I'm having the one, I'm the one making these decisions here. If I save Omid, listen, if I save Omid, then I really do think she doesn't make it on. And Omid's going to be pissed at me. Save her. Omid got on. We're one big happy family. Next stop, the Atlantic. We're finding Clementine's parents when we get there. I thought they were dead. Looking for them then. That's not the plan. Well, it's ours. She and I talked it through. You'll be all right. I'll be alive, I guess. Blood in my heart. Blood in my brain, at least. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. That fucking thing was broken. So did I. Who the f was that? If he's convinced Clementine that he has her parents, y'all might want to rethink your plan. What's happening? Her mom is dead because we shot her. We're almost at the river. You want to get on a boat? You want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? I know I promised that we'd find your parents, but Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're going to have to carry him. Or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you going to tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? Clementine's keeping secret. You understand? I will kill you! <laughs> 